Hey YouTube, welcome back to the channel and today we're jumping into some cash games. So for today's video, I'm going to go ahead and highlight some of the biggest hands from our two five five hundred dollars buy-in session. And as always, if you guys enjoyed today's video, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Everything is completely free and really helps the channel grow and I'd greatly appreciate it. Button opens, we defend king eight here, flop a king and king ten seven. Go ahead and call. Uh, turn three will check. Pretty good card here. Clubs miss. Hands like eight, nine miss, even though we have an eight in our hand. Queen Jack misses. Lots of lots of draws out here. Uh, see a pot size bet. We'll call another one. And evaluate a river. Uh, six of hearts. So eight, nine comes in, but the other draws do miss. And fortunately, that is one of the draws that we block. Uh, so I think we would be calling here if we see a bet. See the bet. And we are going to hit the call button here. And we're good for say seven. Open eight, seven of clubs, get two calls here. I also have a gut shot here. I'm gonna go ahead and call against the lead. Uh, turn the open end straight draw now. Bets again, this time small. I'm just gonna call, I think raising reasonable, but I also don't wanna give them a chance to blast it all in too. Um, seven river, so we improve, but not in the way we were hoping to. And we'll just take a little showdown now. Hopefully they have like a six. Perfect, five, six of clubs. Wow, we could have really got paid at the clubs, but still a nice pot. We check pre-flop and we're gonna raise this flop here. Six, four, three at the open and straight draw. Turn ace, going to keep betting. Calls Jack River. Uh, so I think with us not having a diamond will bluff. Not great that we blocked the miss straight draw, but I am going to blast off on this run out uh, with the diamonds missing and not having a diamond. Unfortunately, we get jammed on, uh, so I'm going to say our timing here did not work out. All right, see a, a big raise from the cutoff. We flat button go forward to so the flop, and we flop two pair. Very nice. Let's see a lead out. Raise the 45. So I'm going to assume here this player is probably not going to fold what could be an overpair. So we might as well just stick it in now and not bring any scare cards. So if they have like jacks or queens, we don't want like an ace or king to peel off. Obviously our line looks really strong, but I think the best play here is just to jam. Back to the razor here. He's going to have king and jack. Oh my gosh, and gets there with the gutter. That one sucks. All right, raise with ace jack suited, get three bad. Our opponent's pretty short here. Um, Man, another spot where it's like I almost always auto call, but I'm still going to call here. And then we flop pretty big. So when there's 60 in the middle, they only have 88 back. We're definitely going with this hand, two overs in the flush draw. They jam, so we won't get any fold equity, but we'll call. Has ace eight of diamonds, and we end up chopping. Hijack limp, we raise cutoff, 10-8 of hearts, button calls, limper calls, uh, ace three deuce, one heart here. Uh, original limper, pretty short. I think we still can see about this though, profitably. Get a call, nine turn here, has about pop behind. With the flush draw, I'm gonna jam. If I didn't pick up the flush draw, I would just probably check back. Snap calls by ace five, we need some help. Ian, not going to get it, so our bluff there, 10-8 of hearts does not work. All right, under the gun open, cut off three bet. We're going to come with the cold four bet out of the big line here with queens. Decides on a call. Ace high flop here. I'm going to go about a quarter. See a call. Five turn. We'll go ahead and check. Goes for about third. I'm going to call one here. It gets pretty interesting on the river. I might make some hero calls when hearts miss. Uh, we'll have to see, though. Uh, hearts hits, so that's going to be a pretty bad river for us here. A lot of his um, bluffs here are going to be like the, the heart draws. So uh, Once we see the jam, now our queens become an easy fold. Uh, decide to come with the cold four bet here. Pretty close spot. Uh, once you do this, we would have to call if they jam, even though we're not feeling great about it. Uh, decides to call, though. Uh, so we're going to go quarter pot here on the queen high board. 
Let's see the call. Ace turn. I think at this point I'm going to turn my tens into bluff if they check. Let's see if it works. Try and get them to fold a queen. Calls with queen jack, so that type of hand we are trying to get to fold ends up not working, and uh, we do bluff it off. Uh, go ahead and complete here in the small blind, 7 6 suited. See the raise. Uh, if the button calls, I think I'll call. If they fold, we might fold. I don't know, with this player coming in, yeah. So at this point, we're calling, getting 4 to 1. We'll call 7 6 suited. Uh, flop a gutter, backdoor clubs. Beautiful, turn the straight here, gonna start betting ourselves. Into three opponents when we bet, I think we can go big, so we'll do that here. See a call. Ooh, another call. Hoping spades miss, the board doesn't pair. <laughs> Nine and eight, so there's gonna be some bad cards here. Um, we'll see what happens. Uh, King of spades, not a great card. Going to block this, I really don't know what the best play is. To be fair on the flop when nobody bets spades, I'm not as worried about it. I think they're going to bet their spade draws quite often. Um, so anyways, we block there, take it down. I think multi-ways I maybe was supposed to just check there. I don't know if the block was right. All right, a button limp here. We raise tens. J-Dub sitting down very first hand, puts in the three bet. Uh, I think when we four bet, it would be an all in here for 100 bigs effective once they've made it 15 because of the sizes getting inflated. So I guess we just jam this. Very first hand, we're on tens in the queens. Pretty tough there. Got some outs and not going to hit it. So we do get a double up to J Dub's first hand. He sits down. You're welcome. Back over to the razor. Calls pretty quick. Uh, 10, 9, 5, 2 hearts. We got aces with the heart. Go ahead and bet small. calls nine on the turn um three bet pot i think we can still be going for three streets of value here calls jack of hearts river so that's not a good run out uh just champs this is so tilting oh man all right well flush comes in we do have the ace of hearts so we block the ace high variety um problem is they're gonna have some 9x although i think that's gonna jam the turn quite often uh this player also i think they would lead i'm afraid they're leading a flush though uh what bluff can they even have at this point i mean that's the problem so like seven eight gets there queen jacks at jacks i don't know if they're just gonna like blast off i'd probably just fold this without a heart without a heart i'm kind of close it's like not only a heart came in, but a bad heart came in, where like the straight's complete. Uh, we end up calling, he has queen jack, and uh, we're good. Whew, all right, glad that one worked out. All right, YouTube, that wraps up a short cash game session here today. So we only played for three hours at both 2-5 and 1-2. In the 2-5 game, 187 hands, profit of 338. In the 1-2 game, 545 hands, loss of 508. Total loss on the day, minus 170. Um, I think this is four or five straight losing cash game sessions for us. Um, we had one that was a pretty big loss. I think we lost about 2.4K, but the other three or four have been small at least. So hopefully going to start turning things around here and get an upswing in the cash games. But uh, if you guys did enjoy today's video, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you ever want to catch our live streaming schedule on Twitch, I post that schedule every Monday morning at 9 Eastern Standard Time on the Twitch schedule tab.